Our mission here at St. Augustine School is to form the next generation of saints and scholars. And so when we talk about forming saints and scholars, for us, that's not an either-or proposition. Because what we focus on here at St. Augustine School is the formation of the whole child, mind, body, and soul. When my oldest son was baptized, a family friend said to us, the greatest gift that a parent can give their child is the gift of faith. And that always stayed with me as I was raising him and now his younger brother, that the greatest gift that a parent can give their child is the gift of faith. And I knew that for their schooling, I wanted them to have a faith-based and virtue-forming education, and that's what we found here at St. Augustine School. St. Augustine School students receive a rigorous education that continuously challenges them to achieve higher levels of learning. The instruction is centered around forming the whole person as both saints and scholars, with a focus on both morals and academics. Our integrated arts classes include art, music, technology, gym, and stream. Our extracurriculars at St. Augustine School include speech and debate clubs, basketball, cross-country running, and campus ministry, just to name a few. So I've been at St. Augustine School since pre-K, which is almost nine years, and being here for so long, I feel as if the school has become like my second home, and the people here have created such strong bonds with me that I feel like they're my second family as well as the academics here as an eighth grader, I feel like I'll be able to excel and I'm confident that I'll succeed in high school because of how the teachers teach us. St. Augustine School was founded in 1914 by the Sisters of Notre Dame with the encouragement of the, the Augustinians who were here for, for the uh, pastoral care of the parish at that time. And as, as frequently would happen, the sisters opened the school first in their own residence and then as soon as a, a building, a suitable building could be built with all of the good cooperation and participation of the school parents and the parishioners, the original school building was built and it kept growing and growing so much so that in the early 1960s they had to uh, add a new wing to it and, and doubled the school in, in size. Before I came here I was um, a teacher in the public school system and what I noticed when I was there for 13 years I was unable to um, find a role model that could teach the children about truth and um, love and kindness it was very difficult so being back here at St. Augustine School I feel I can teach the children about Jesus and God and kindness and loving all the core values that are so important to our school. And I once heard this quote from a priest that shared that Education without formation is education without a soul. I think that's so true about education in general, and I think it's also emblematic of what we seek to do here at St. Augustine. People often ask me why I send my children to St. Augustine. And the reason is that's because parenting today is a team sport, and it has to be to be successful. Children in society are continually bombarded with outside influences, from social media to the internet to television. I need an extension of my family to be able to have a consistent foundation of morals, ethics and values to shape my children for today and into the future. You could say I've been at St. Augustine's my entire life pretty much. Um, I've been teaching here for over 30 years. I was a student here. My dad was a student here. Raised all three of my children here. Um, and let's just say the school is my second family and the place I want to be. My name is Miles and I love St. Augustine School so much. The teachers are amazing. The school is amazing. The gym is amazing. We even have our own personal training lab. And then we also have our great teachers, all my friends, a bunch of kids. That's why everybody loves it! I love St. Augustine School and I love my teacher and I love my friends. We don't just focus on education, but on formation. We don't just teach minds, we teach hearts. And we don't just form great scholars, we form great saints as well.